All right, so what if we want to get into some more advanced things within the uh, design uploader once we've sliced? So I could click right here and I could choose a size that I want. I could scale it easily. I want 150% the size. 10% of the size, whatever I'd like. It's easy to scale. If you know one dimension, like you need the height to be exactly 12 millimeters, you could scale it that way too, and it would it would change height accordingly and everything else, the whole scale. All right, so that's one way you can resize pretty easy. The other thing you can do is go into advanced slicer settings. Now, when you're in here, be careful. You can really goof some things up, but you can also carefully fine-tune the printer. In my opinion, AstroPrint has better settings than I could ever do by myself. I spent a very long time using these printers before AstroPrint came around, and when AstroPrint came around, I thought I had good print settings, and theirs are far better than mine that, that I had worked on for a very long time. But it's all divided into many different sections. You can change the layer and perimeters. You can go in and change a whole bunch of different options. And um, if you're not sure what an option is, you can always go in, you can always Google it and figure out what it is. But you'll learn about infill if you haven't already. Um, if you slow a printer down, it will print better, but speed it up, it'll sprint, it'll print faster. Skirt and brim are ways to adhere to the bed support materials, you know, how you want it to be lined out. You can choose the support type. You want it to be in lines or a grid. Do you want it just touching the build plate? Do you want it everywhere? Do you want none? There's so many different... Um, when it calculates angles that need support, what is the angle that you're going to put in there that you need support on? Now, this setting is a very good setting, but you may want to increase the angle to lower the number of supports, or you might want to lower the angle to increase the number of supports. Do you want to add plate adhesion, all these different rafting? Uh, we do not have multiple extrudes. You don't have to worry about anything here. You can cho choose the temperature of your filament and your bed temperature like we did when we set up the printer. You can choose the, how, the, how the fans run. I would recommend you leave them just the way they are. You can choose retraction. Retraction um, can help you adjust. And again, this is something you can you can Google and, and learn more about. But this is this will help you adjust um, basically the the accuracy of the layers and uh, will help you if you're having a problem with any kind of oozing layers that'll help you uh, while moving it will retract the filament out of the nozzle just the tiniest little bit in order to relieve pressure so it doesn't continue to ooze out that's basically what happens uh, I'm going to if I wanted to I would slice right here I could save my settings but I don't want to mess with any of them because the settings are great the way they are in my opinion and that's about all you can do within the design uploader in AstroPrint. One thing that is definitely lacking on the web version is you cannot rotate. So you'll have to use another method to rotate something if it's not rotated properly. And uh, um, you're going to learn how to do it through Tinkercad. That's very easy. But there are other ways to do it, too, just not within the web-based AstroPrint.